Good morning, my friends. It is Halloween, so happy Halloween. I decided to vlog today so I can chit-chat with you guys um, and catch everybody up. Wanted to show you my outfit of the day. Don't mind my hair. I just took a shower about an hour ago and just threw it up. I haven't straightened it or done anything to it, so my hair looks terrible. So I have on this shirt, which I'm obsessed with, from Target, actually. It's like um, one of the flannel shirts but but fitted if that makes sense it is super soft it's actually the morona brand i actually got it last night i went there um went to target just to get a couple things and i actually said hey why not look at the clothes and i actually found a few things which i'll show you guys my jeans are just from gap they're just some skinny jeans that i actually got last year i think and then i have on i'm a boot freak and i have on my boots that I got pretty recently on Zappos. So here they are. They're like a mahogany brown kind of a color with like a wedge um, heel and then like a gold buckle. So that is what I'm wearing today. Um, we just have to go do some errands um, and stuff like that. Nothing too exciting. And I want to get it all done early before the Halloween people start coming. Um, also, yesterday at Target, I found two other shirts. Let me get them down. Um, which I was surprised, actually, to find these. But I found this one here. Um, these are all the one I have on, and then these two are all, like, that really soft flannel. And this one's, like, a really, really super light pale gray and ivory. And it only has buttons, like, halfway up, if that makes sense. And then it has, like, the rolled sleeves, which you can unroll, but I think they look really cute. Um, rolled up like that. I actually bought a large in all of these shirts. Um, normally in Morona, I'm a medium. However, I have big, I have a big, sort of a big chest. Um, so anything, any shirt with buttons, it gets that like poof right here and, or the button just flat out on buttons on a medium. Um, so I tried on the mediums first thinking I could pull them off, but I noticed right away that it had the little button poof out, like right in the boob area. So I had to go with large. Um, so they do fit. They are a little bit loose, like around the midsection. If you guys can see, they're like just a little bit loose right here. I would prefer it to be more fitted. However, I'd rather have it be loose and have like my boobs popping out. So I got this one here and then the same exact style shirt in this color here, which is like gray and blue and like a coral color and again this one has the buttons only halfway down um and then yeah they're all marona they're all large including the one i have on um again just because of the issue with the boobage we don't want boobage hanging out so that is what i got at target yesterday and grady is just hanging out on the bed watching little einsteins on the ipad which is what he usually does for a little while in the morning when mommy is getting ready it is pretty chilly out today, and we are going to head out and do some things. Um, we have to go to Babies R Us, to go to the post office, and just a couple other random things. So I figured I would take you guys along with me so we can chat. So Grady's going to be starting preschool next week, so I actually had to break out his backpack and little lunch bag. Um, I actually got this little lunch bag at Babies R Us or Toys R Us. It's the Yo Gabba Gabba, which he doesn't necessarily, I mean, he's watched it. I wouldn't call him a huge fan, but he does like, like little monster creatures, and I thought it was just really cute, whether you like Yo Gabba Gabba or not. So the front is like this soft terry cloth material, and then inside is um, nice and, I forgot the name, insulated, maybe, um, like that vinyl coating, and there's actually two sections, so I will pack his actual lunch in here, and on the bottom part, there's another compartment that I'll probably put like... Um, a thin ice pack with some drinks if I can fit them so I just have these out in my room to remind me that I cannot forget that he has school since it's his first time going this backpack is like a preschool size backpack I think I mean it's not like a full-size backpack but it's bigger than like a mini backpack so it's somewhere in between I got this at Pottery Barn Kids a long time ago and I mean a long time ago guys and I just I don't know why I just really thought it was cute I like the surfboard theme I like the size I just like the features like the grab handle and just the way it's designed so the school gave me a list of what I needed to pack in here for him 
Um, so I just have a Ziploc bag with um, a change of clothes, which they requested. And they requested some kind of like a hand wipe. So I just had these, the Burt's Bee um, face and hand wipes. And then I also threw in just a little 10 pack of the boogie wipes just in case he has like a runny nose or something. So that is the first bag of stuff they wanted me to pack. And then the next bag, they wanted me to pack diapers and wipes. So um, I just packed, um, I think there's like 10 diapers in here and then just a like medium 32 pack of Huggies. Um, when I go to Baby's Arrest today, I might get a package, the smaller package of the Huggies. I think they have like 25 or 30 diapers. I might get something like that to send with him. Um, or maybe not, depending on the price, because I do have the big BJ's boxes of diapers and maybe just more cost effective to send those. So um, that is what I have in there for him so far. And then just some paperwork that I had to fill out for the school. And I just can't believe my little baby is going to be going to preschool next week. So here's his little stuff kind of getting ready for next week. And I can't believe it, guys. So yesterday, guys, I got these. Um, some of you who follow me on Instagram might have seen I posted these um, a picture of this candle, these candle stands I got from Bath and Body Works, and they are for the three wick candles. Um, so I think this particular one looks really good on it. It's the mahogany teak wood, which is like one of my favorite all time um, Bath and Body Works candle scents, and they are just so pretty. I'm obsessed. They have like a speckled kind of vintagey um, look. So I got two of them. So I just have one here on this um, like entertainment stand. So I just really, really, really think they're so pretty. They were actually $15.50, but I had a coupon, spend $30, get $10 off. I have like a million of those. So I got two of these, and then I got $10 off. So they were like, I don't know, 11 They ended up being like $11 each. And they're a pretty good size. They actually had a shorter one as well. And then my other one um, is over here in my kitchen, which is um, has a banana nutmeg bread pudding candle which is like almost done so I have that one there so I think it looks just so cute and what I like is that I can use them all year round obviously they're really festive for like Christmas and the holidays but I think that I can incorporate them all year round so I just wanted to show you guys that this video is going to be totally random you guys know I'm a completely random person and my vlogs are always like here there and everywhere so just be prepared guys because I'm going to show you guys a lot of random things today Okay guys, so I just left Babies R Us. I got four of um, the snacks that I to uh, told you guys about. They're the Earth's, um, Earth Bass Pop Snacks Veggie. They actually are normally $2.99 a canister, which I think is expensive since they're a 1.6 ounce canister. But they had them on sale, four canisters for 10 bucks, so they were $2.50 each, so I will take that little bit of savings. So I got four of these, I got um, just one package of the Baby Yannix, uh face, hand, and baby wipes just to actually keep in the car. I got these. Um, I've never seen this before. I love boogie wipes, but I've never seen this. It's the boogie base. So let me see if I can take this off really quick. So it's like a hard shell um, container for them, and it's nice because it has like the rubber stoppers on the bottom. And then boogie wipes inside and it's refillable. So I think these are great just to leave like on your nightstand or your, you know, child's a nightstand when they're sick. Um, just for easier access, just to push that like a wipes container. So I thought that was pretty cool. And then I just got some Earth um, or Yum Earth Organic Lollipops for my son. Um, when I do give him a lollipop, um, I like to give him these just because there's no high fructose corn syrup and all of that. So that is what I got at Babies R Us. I'm actually headed now to see, um, someone had told me that the area where I'm in right now has a drive through Panera Bread. I don't think I've ever seen one of those before, so I was told there's one here, um, so I'm going to go see if I can find that because that would be amazing. So am I a total loser that I never knew these existed? I'm so happy right now. Thanks for choosing Panera Bread. Jamie, how can I help you? Hi, can I get, um, what are the soups today, actually? Am I missing that on the sign? Yes, ma'am. You can't see my body, you can see my body. Um, I don't see what the soup is today. 
we have cricket tomato, broccoli cheddar, French onion, autumn squash, dried vegetable. Um, chicken noodle. So I got some Panera bread, um, broccoli cheddar soup with some of the baguette, which Grady is helping mommy eat. And I got just a Diet Coke because I'm parched and I forgot to grab a drink before we left the house. So this is just kind of my little snack. I'm probably, probably going to have like a sandwich or something when I get home. But um, yeah, I just wanted to share my excitement Panera Bread drive through I will be here probably once a week now so it's probably a blessing and a curse so we are just having some quiet time Grady is playing with his little hi you watching mommy his little um, foam pegboard and we just are stacking them right here and I'm just kind of playing I took him to um, there's like a little playground area in our development, so I took him there for a good couple hours and let him run around, and we went on the slides and the swings, and there were a couple other kids there, so we just did that since the weather's starting to cool down finally. It wasn't so hot. It's like about, I don't know, 60-something today, 65. So we are just kind of having quiet time, and I'm hoping that he might possibly take a nap. If not, then he'll just go to bed early, so it's not a big deal. And I'm just gonna sit and play with him for a little while. We're in his room right now, and I'm just glad it's Friday, and Daddy will be home on the weekend. And if he takes a nap, I'm just gonna go ahead and prep a couple things for dinner. Um, and just for the weekend, I'm gonna make some cheesy hash brown casserole for the weekend if I can. And then just get dinner ready. Making sausage tonight with um, some roasted sweet potatoes. I'll show you guys later what we have. And that's about it. So right now, just kind of winding down, quiet time. He just took a bath, and his, he needs a haircut so bad. But he just took a bath, and we're just kind of hanging out for right now, guys. So does everybody else eat all the Halloween candy, or is it just me? Because I've eaten like 10 Snickers in like the past day. So... I just got my candy out in this big bowl. And of course I took some out for myself for my own personal stash. And Grady's just playing. We are playing cars and pegs and watching little Einsteins and playing bowling and all of that. I'll show you guys the living room. I haven't done a tour yet because I'm not quite done in here. But as you can see, it's a huge space. I'm, I'm just so in love with this whole house. Um, this is a sectional that we bought for the house. My husband um, custom kind of designed the configuration, if you will, and it fits literally perfectly on that, against that half wall, all the way to the wall. I think it's like a 16 foot um, sectional. So we really like that. And I think besides the couch and then this piece that I've showed you guys before, everything else in this room we brought from New York, furniture-wise. This is our coffee table in New York. This was an area rug we had in New York. Um, the curtains you guys know I got at, for those who watch my video, obviously, I got these um, from an online garage sale site. This little toy organizer we actually had in New York, but it was in a box, so it never got assembled. And this is our little, cute little table. And like I said, I'm not quite done in here. It's such a big room that I feel like it still needs something else. And I'm still finishing decorating. I want to put something above that window. Um, and then this wall here behind me, guys, is our family picture from last year. But I want to put... Um, I want to use this wall for just family pictures, so when we get our family pictures done um, next month, I'll put the new ones, obviously, next to it. So, yeah. The rug is bothering me. Sorry, I'm OCD. But, yeah, I will eventually do this, um, do a room tour for this room once I'm done. I'm just not quite done yet. Putting all the finishing touches and stuff. My husband is building a shelf this weekend to go on top of the TV on the wall to put our cable box and stuff like that in. So there's going to be some changes in here. I really like the ceiling fan that he put up. 
and it's just a really great, nice open space for Grady to play. So we love it so far. Hey guys, our dinner tonight is some roasted sausage with some roasted sweet potatoes that I roasted with some brown sugar and butter, and then just um, some organic greens, um, sort of just a toss salad with some French dressing. And this is our dinner tonight. So I wanted to share with you guys the downstairs bathroom paint color that my husband is going to finish painting tonight. It's sort of like a terracotta color. I think that's the right word. It reminds me of like that Spanishy pottery color. Um, I actually had my dining room in my old house in New York very similar to this. So I really liked um, just the look of it with the hardwood floors and then the white trim it's going to be nice and I already got this little accent rug um, which is going to look really cute with the paint so I'll show you guys that when it is done. I think I'm done with my vlog tonight today because it's starting to get dark. I'm starting to get trick-or-treaters. I have to clean up dishes from dinner and just hand out candy and I want to edit my vlog and get it up for you guys tonight. So I hope you all have a happy Halloween and a safe Halloween. And I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you guys in my next video really soon. Bye.